Nicole loves. Welcome to the channel. So today's video is for the February 2024 Phantom Flakies box. This is the first Phantom Flakies we've had for 2024, so I'm pretty excited to share these with you all. For February, the theme this month is the Labyrinth, and the guest maker is Lynn B. Designs. If you are new to Phantom Flakies and you have no idea what I am talking about, Phantom Flakies is a monthly indie collaboration between Bees Knees Lacquer and Night Owl Lacquer, as well as Ribbit Stickets. Each month, the three makers get together with one guest maker to release limited edition nail polishes as well as some non-nail polish items from Rip It Sick It. The polishes are all exclusive to the box. Before we get into today's video, I have a couple of things to mention, and the first being, if you are new around here, hi, I am Nicole. It's wonderful to meet you, and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. I open new videos every week on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and I also go live on Sunday. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Just, how's everyone's week going? I do want to say thank you all very much for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. You guys really made me smile. So the products featured in today's video were sent to me by Phantom Flakies for the purpose of swatching and reviewing them. This video is also sponsored. So thank you very much Phantom Flakies for sponsoring today's video. And of course, all thoughts and opinions are my own. The February Phantom Flakies box goes on sale next week, February 9th at 12 p.m. noon Eastern time on fandomflakies.com. I will have some more sale information as well as pricing and all that good stuff at the end of the video. Of course, definitely down in the description box, links to where you can pick up Phantom Flakies, links to the Phantom Flakies social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on NicoleLovesNails.com where I host all of my swatch photos as well as provide a written review. And of course, timestamps are in the description box as well. Let's just get into this video. First up, we have Bees Knees Lacquer with That's Not Fair. The brand describes this one as a grass green base with an orange to gold to green iridescent flake as well as a scattering of silver flakes. That's Not Fair had a fantastic formula. It does start off a little bit sheer, but I found it built up really nicely in two to three coats. As you can see, here there are a metric buttload of flakies in this polish as well as some big old honkin flakies that I absolutely love. The flakies spread out very evenly and easily. I did still find myself kind of judging my brush around trying to get the larger flakies exactly where I wanted them because I couldn't help myself. Obviously that is not a necessary thing that you would have to do. This is definitely going to be a two to three coater depending on your personal preference. If you want the exact same color on your nail that you're seeing in the bottle. I would recommend this one in three coats. However, coverage is very good in two coats only. So like if you don't want to add a third coat, you definitely don't need to. My photo showed that's not fair in three coats plus both glossy and matte top coats. Removal for this one is not going to be overly difficult, but I would just say don't scrub this off because the flakies will be incredibly messy. And now we have Night Owl Lacquer with As the World Falls Down. This one is described as being a black and blue jelly base with silver holographic micro flakies, as well as bright blue and silver metallic flakes. As the World Falls Down also had a fantastic formula. This one is also in a jelly base, so you will definitely need to build this one up to get the most opacity. I did find, however, on my current nail length, I really liked how coverage looked on me in two coats, but I could see folks with longer nails than mine needing to go for three coats to cover up any visible nail. Line. While this polish did not have the same big honkin' flakies as the last one, I absolutely loved the flaky mix paired with this base color. I don't know why, but this one really reminded me of rock candy for some reason. The flakies in here will not dry down textured like a glitter, but they have like flaky texture, I guess we'll call it, so you still will want top coat for a nice smooth finish. This one also looks phenomenal with a matte top coat. I would not recommend scrubbing this one off, like I never recommend scrubbing off flakies, like it's just such a hassle. Use the soak off method or or a peel off base coat. And the next nail polish we have is by Lynn B Designs, and this one is called It's Only Forever. The brand describes this one as a deep plum to clear thermal base with shifting flakies, a smattering of black flakies, as well as holographic flakies. It's Only Forever had a fantastic formula. Since this polish is clear in the warm state, it is obviously going to be very sheer in the warm state. I was pleasantly surprised to find that the base on this one did not feel thick at all. I don't know why, but I tend to find thermals, especially flaky thermals, tend to lean a little bit thicker. My hands were definitely feeling very toasty the day I was swatching this one, so I kind of had a hard time getting to show the cold state because my nails aren't terribly long currently. So to show the cold state for this one, I did bust out my ice pack and it worked perfectly. This is a very reactive thermal. Coverage for this one was pretty good. It is, again, sheer in the warm state because it goes to clear, but because there's just so many different flakies in this one, you get a lot of opacity from the flakies. I opted to swatch this one in three coats. In general, I tend to do three coats for thermals just so that I have like the most opacity in the warm state 
but I will call this one a two to three coater depending on personal preference. If you aren't super picky about visible nail line, this will definitely be passable in two coats. The flakies do not dry down textured. They will be very messy to remove, so I would recommend the soak off method or a peel off base coat. But if for whatever reason you're super stubborn, you can definitely be fine with scrubbing this off if you really wanted. So I have quite a few things from Ribbit Stickets to share with you all. The first being the Ribbit Stickets Unforgettable Hand and Cuticle Cream. This month's fragrance is called Ello Come Inside Meet the Misses. And the brand describes it as being white tea and green sage with a hint of African violet, bergamot, lemon zest, mint, wildflowers, white grapefruit, and sugarcane with a base of frankincense, fir, cedar, basil, rosemary, and vetiver. Yeah, I think that's vetiver. This is a very complicated scent in my personal opinion. Let me sniff it one more time. I feel like it's like herbal, very floral-y, and just like a very slight hint of sweetness. It's a little bit too floral-y for my personal taste. I like sweet and fruity fragrances, so it's a little bit too floral for me personally, but I don't think it's a bad scent. Like, I feel like the more I sniff it, the less I dislike it. Because like, when I, when I initially sniffed it when it came in the mail, like, I did not like the fragrance at all. And now as I'm here, like, sniffing it more and more, I feel like I'm, I'm not disliking as much as I initially thought that I did. If you are new to the Ribbit Stickets Hand and Cuticle Cream, I would say this has like a medium consistency. It's not super thin, but it's not at all thick like a body butter would be. When you initially put it on your hands, you know, you feel like you have like a little layer on your hands, but I find it absorbed into the skin really quickly. Not so quickly that I'm looking kind of ashy shortly thereafter, but like quickly enough, if that makes any sense at all. So the hand and cuticle cream is priced at $8 for two ounces. I was also sent some water slide decals by the brand. The close-up shot that I wanted to show for these water slide decals did not come in clear. So here is a close-up shot of the decals. I must say, I am constantly so impressed by the level of detail that gets put into these itty bitty little decals. For my base, I use Sweet and Sour Lacquer's Blur Sauce and I think pink? I think that if I'm wrong, the name is on the screen here. I absolutely love the Ribbit Stickets water slide decals. If you are like me and you are not the best at nail art, water slide decals are a really great way to get a complicated design on your nails with minimal effort. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And minimal effort nail art is my personal favorite type of nail art. So I really like the water slide decals. If you would like to see application of these, I'll link my Phantom Flakies playlist in the description box. I have shown how to apply these many times. In essence, you just get a pair of teeny tiny little scissors and cut them out as close to the design as you humanly can. Plop them into warm water for like 10 to 20-ish seconds. I personally prefer putting these on a clear stamper. My natural nails are fairly curved, so I find it helps me be able to put the water slide decals on smoothly without any wrinkles by using a clear stamper. I have seen other folks make them into like little decals on like a nail art mat. You really can mix and match and play around with them as you want. They do seem to perform best putting them on a light background. If you wanna put these on over your nails, if you have like a dark manicure on, I would personally recommend getting a little bit of white acrylic paint and just painting the back side of the decal before you put it onto your nail. So the water slide decals are priced at $6 each and there are two different decal sheets. This month we also have a roll on perfume in the same fragrance as the hand cream. It has a roller bar type of tip on it and the fragrance is the same as the hand cream. This perfume roller ball thingamajig is priced at $10 and it is 10 ml. There are also a couple other things that Ribbit Stickets has this month that I did not personally receive. There'll be a car freshener for $8 and then a acetone additive for $4. Alrighty, so final thoughts time. Admittedly, I am not really that big of a fan of the Labyrinth. I have like a vague recollection of watching it as a child and being terrified. But other than that, I don't remember it very well. I am not a big enough fan of the Labyrinth to know how well these polishes symbolize the movie. If you are a fan of the Labyrinth, I would love to know your thoughts on like how these polishes translated to what you think of as the movie. I don't generally like giving my t my like favorite polishes and top picks from Phantom Flakies largely because in order to purchase this box you have to buy all of the polishes so I, I don't generally like saying what is my top pick but I feel like if you watch the channel on a regular basis you probably can guess fairly easily 
which item from this box was my favorite. I feel like you can probably guess. As far as sale information goes, the box opens up next Friday, February 9th at 12 p.m. noon on fandomflakies.com. And again, this sale is going on for one week and will close at 11.59 Eastern time on the 16th. As far as pricing goes, if you would like to get the three polishes, that box is priced at $33 plus shipping. You can add any of the Ribbit Sickets items onto your order. Or for $43 plus shipping, you can get all three polishes plus the Ribbit Sickets water slide decals. Pro tip, if only one or two of the polishes in this month's box interest you, there is a thread over on the Phantom Flakies Facebook group where you can split the box with other customers. That is definitely an option because I totally understand how stressful it can be wanting to get one of these boxes and you only want one but there's three so why buy two polishes that you don't want? I get it. I've been there before too. So I will have the Phantom Flakies Facebook group linked in the description box as well for those of you who want to try to split the box with other customers. So I would love to know what everyone else thought of this box. If you plan on picking up, y'all know the drill. Let me know all your thoughts, especially those of you who are really into the Labyrinth because like, again, I don't know. So feel free to let me know what you guys think of this one. Before we end today's video, I want to give a very special shout out to my channel members, Shanae! Thank you guys so very much. I'll see you all for our live stream in a few minutes, actually. I feel like every time I've done a video recently, it's been right before one of the channel member streams. So just thank you all very much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Set a big ass when I when get hot. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling like yeah.